Training's been excellent. We've had an excellent start, only a week and a half into it. Um, first week, very tough, and it was hard. Uh, reintegration into running and skills. Uh, we pushed them hard there. Um, they went on pretty tired on Friday night, and uh, they've come back in Sunday, and their application and their attitude has been absolutely first class. And guess what? We've ramped it up again and uh, asked some questions of them. They've dealt with the stress of that perfectly. It's about helping your mates across the line. It's about looking after one another, encouragement, making sure that we, uh, we suffer together, and uh, we're doing that at the minute. We play a lot of um, fitness games and a lot of fitness in between. We're looking at the guys who can push it really, not just in the fitness, but who can back it up in the games. And uh, it tends to be the chirpy ones, the, the ones who like to chat um, quite a lot and drive and help each other out. So um, there's a good group of them at the minute. Seconds, it's nice um, from coaching from time to time, just joining in the mix and uh, and get stuck in with the lads because you get you get a general feel of body language and who's talking and who's fighting out there, more so than what you would do still on the sidelines. So it's it's nice to mix it up every now and again. Competitions for places is uh, is where a World Cup camp should be at. Uh, it's funny actually because uh, no matter who you're talking to as a coach, as a player, you see the other people uh, within that that circle that they're in uh, flock around to see what you're saying, etc. So everyone's very competitive. Everyone uh, wants to gain that extra extra um, uh, jump on on the next, and and rightfully so, you know, because we've got 50 here and. Uh, um, before the Fiji game, we have to get down to 31. There's 19 really, really good players. That's going to be disappointed, and uh, the competition should be fierce. And um, we'll see how it, we see how it pans out. We've got a tough job us as coaches getting the, getting it down to the 31 uh, because it's uh, the biggest time of these these boys' lives at home World Cup. So uh, we've got to make sure that we do a good job. We've got to throw all sorts at them. Um, you don't just throw fitness at them or, or skills. You've got to challenge them mentally. Um, you've got to put them under pressure in games when they're fatigued so that they can make right decisions. We've got to get into a bit of rugby so that we can uh, make sure that they can go head-to-head -to -head together as far as uh, decision-making with the rugby ball in hand. So there's all sorts of permutations that we have to go through to whistle it down. And uh, as I said, we're only 10 days into it, so we're not there yet.